Code coverage is the percentage of code which is covered by automated tests. Code coverage measurement simply determines which statements in a body of a code have been executed through a test run and which statements have not. In general, a code coverage system collects information about the running program and then combines with their source code and will tell you how much percentage of your code was covered by written automated tests. It will also tell you that which part of your code was not at all tested. Code coverage is a part of feedback loop in the development process. As tests are developed, code coverage highlights aspects of the code which may not be adequately tested and which require additional testing. As you can see here, we have a couple of lines which are red in color and a couple of lines which are green in color. The green lines indicate that this part of your code was covered by some automated tests. And the red line indicates that these parts of code were not at all covered by any of the tests you have written. So in that sense, this code coverage helps you visualize that which part of code was covered and which part of code was not covered and not tested. Spring REST application typically have these layers, right? Presentation layer, business layer, persistence layer, and we have some database, some data source. And we write a unit test to test the methods which are present in each of these layers. And we also write component tests to test the end-to-end -end functionality. So why code coverage is so important in software development? Let's say you have to implement a new feature in the product and you have been given a functional requirement document. Then what are the things that a developer needs to keep in their mind? The first thing which they need to keep in their mind is the new feature should meet the acceptance criteria which were defined in the functional requirement document. The second thing which is very much of priority is the existing feature should not break with the introduction of this new feature. And what is the better way to achieve those two points? And that is the unit test and the code coverage. So let's assume that you have developed some feature, you have written codes, and you have also written automated test for to test that particular piece of code. But you cannot guarantee that whatever test you have written is covering each and every lines of that particular code and it is covering each and every scenario. Uh, to get fully assured, we need to run the code coverage so that this particular tool will determine that which part of your code was actually covered and which part is, is still missing and which might give a bug in the production environment. So this is where code coverage comes into the picture and plays a very important role in development process. It, it tells you how well your tests are actually testing the code. It tells you whether you have enough testing in place or not. It also maintains the test quality over the life cycle of the project. Okay. In this tutorial, we will be using Jacko plugin developed by UCL Emma and we'll be using the Spring application to test a particular piece of code and see how code coverage is important and it is covering the test cases or not. So let's get into the code now. Okay, so here I am using a simple Spring Boot application. I'm actually reusing my existing code, which was backing uh, APIs. Okay, so this is my account service, which has five basic functions, which is find the account details, deposit into an account, withdraw from an account, create account and transfer amount to other account okay so we need to write unit test cases for these five functions so let's say i'll go ahead with uh, the first function which is uh, find one method if you look into this test uh, package we have this account services test for the simplicity i have written some test cases so i have this test class annotated with the add spring boot test then we are injecting the service impl and we are also injecting some mocks which is required inside the service I am able to do. Then we are using this uh, hash map as a data source. Okay. So whatever data we want to create for a test purpose, we will be storing into this mock map. Then we are storing some values into this mock pack before starting the test cases. And we are making use of reflection test duties to set the field. And why we are making use of reflection test duties is because this field account service IMPL is basically a private field in the uh, uh, this service as you can see this is a private and static so we cannot directly access it but we can access it by making use of reflection test tutorials okay so this is the setup then we have written first test case which is find one underscore error so the error scenario here is the account number does not exist so let me run this test yeah so it has uh, run this particular test but while running this test, I don't know that what part of the code was covered. I just know that this test I have run and according to what I have asserted here is working fine. But we are not sure whether this particular test case is covering what part of the method. So for our test scenario, it went into this else condition. So we are pretty sure that this if condition was not at all covered. Okay. But since this is a small method, we can, we are able to deduce that. So we can write a 
test case which will cover this if condition as well and we will be able to say that this particular method is covered so imagine you are working on a project where each method is having immense number of lines of code and you you don't know that which branch is covered and which branch is not covered so for that purpose we will be using jacko a code coverage tool so that we will be able to visualize that by running that test or how much percentage of the total code was covered okay so we'll go to build.gradle as you can see in this plugin section we need to add the jacko plugin so we will do we will add uh, id and then we need to write jacko okay so we will do import okay since now we have added a jacko plugin now we will check whether this jacko plugin is available as part of gradle tasks or not for that we will type gradle w then tasks okay it says build successful so as we can see we have this verification task and inside that we have this jacko test coverage verification and we have jacko test report okay it says jacko test report generates code coverage report for the test task okay and this jacko test coverage verification it verifies the code coverage metrics based on specified rules for the test task so let's say you have implemented jacko plugin in your application and you want to apply some code coverage metrics let's say you want that 80% of your code should be covered okay and if it is not meeting the criteria of 80% code coverage then it should not pass okay then you can use this jacko test coverage verification which will verify after each test report that how much of that uh, code was covered and if it is meeting the certain specified metrics or not so let me first build our code so for that first i'll do gradle w clean and build now the code is successfully built now let me run the task gradle w jacko test and report this will take a while to run okay the build is successful now if you want to go and check whether the test report was uh, generated or not we need to go to build section we can see that we have this jacko folder in here okay so if you have this jacko folder generated you can go to a report section and you can see there are two folder one is test which is created by j unit and the other one is jacko which was created by this jacko plugin and if i go to jacko we can see the test folder and we can see an html list of html okay so we'll go to index.html and we will open it in a browser so as you can see it is giving me all the packages that uh, we have service implementation package we have model package we have response error controller and we have the main root package it says how much of instructions were missed in a package so it says let's say we have run right now the test cases for uh, the service right we have run for this account service i am paid and we have run for this find one as you can see it says find one is 100% complete so whenever we build our code so we ran this uh, test cases for find one we ran this error scenario and we ran success scenario it says that this particular method was completely covered but as you can see this deposit to account withdraw from account create account and some part of transfer was not covered so it means that we have not written any test case which is covering these methods okay so let me go back we have all the methods present here inside account service implementation and we can see only find one and transfer method is what we have written test cases for find one is completely covered we don't have to worry about find one anymore we have other methods which are not at all covered it is missed instructions which is 0% coverage 0% coverage and it has 86% of coverage then it has missed branches okay so branches is basically a condition so whenever we write if and else condition so so control will go into those if condition but depending upon the condition it will go inside or it will not go inside so if it is going to if condition and if it is not going inside the if branch it says that this branch was missed so if you open this transfer method and as you can see here at line number 120 we have this yellow diamond right so it says that the control went here it checked the condition but the condition turned out to be a false and hence it did not go inside this else if condition and hence this particular branch was missed okay so now let us go ahead and uh, cover this particular part of code wherein our account does not have enough balance to transfer the amount to carry out the transaction so i'll go here and uh, i'll just copy this whole test case okay and uh, paste it here and i'll make it as uh, transfer transfer underscore insufficient funds test okay so what i'll do i'll uh, 
reduce the amount available in the from account okay let's say i have put 5000 rupees only and the transfer amount is 10000 rupees and the two account is having 25000 rupees as the balance now let me build the code okay the build is successful let me run the jacker code test report it is also successful i'll go and refresh this page and as you can see this part is also covered now and if you go back it says that let me just refresh it it says 100 percent this transfer method is covered so as you can see by implementing code coverage we will be able to visualize which part of the code needs test cases and which part is fully covered and we can rest assured that the minimum amount of number of bugs will be coming from those methods which are fully covered okay now let us see what are some of the features which jackaco provides other than generating a test report okay if we go back here if we go to build our gradle so we have only added id jackaco as a plugin in gradle file and it provided us a task of jackaco test report which will generate an html page by default but along with html we can also generate different kinds of reports we can generate csv type of format we can generate an xml format report and to enable that what we can do is we can add one more task which says jackaco test report okay this is a task depends on test okay so this report depends on what test task cool then we can write reports okay so this one and inside these reports we can specify which kind of report we want to enable and we want to generate so by default only html is enabled and it will generate an html report only but you can also add xml so for that we have to do xml dot enabled and then we will write true okay similarly csv dot enabled and true then you can also write overwrite html dot enabled and you can mention it as uh, let's say false okay so right now what we have configured is uh, we have configured the code test report task which depends upon the test task and the reports we want to generate is of type of xml and csv we don't want html report okay now let me import these changes okay and i'll run build and now I'll run Jackaco test report. Okay, so this is also built successfully. So now I'll just uh, refresh it, reload it from the disk, and we'll go to report section, Jackaco, then test. And as you can see in here, we have only CSV and XML format available. We don't have HTML because we have disabled the HTML report. So as per your requirement, you can either use XML CSV or you can use HTML. So let me just uh, enable that. And uh, this time we will be getting all the three reports. Let me import the changes. Let me build the code. Okay, now let me run the Jackaco test report. Okay, it has generated the report. So if you go inside now, you'll be able to see an HTML as well as CSV and XML. So as you have observed that whenever we want to run a Jackaco test report, we first have to build our code and then we have to explicitly run this Jackaco test report task every time to get the report generated. But what we can do is we can club that together so we can configure our build order in such a way that whenever a clean build is run, automatically this test report will be generated. And for that purpose, what we need to mention here is inside this test task, we need to mention that finalized by. Okay, so this finalized by and we can type the task. Okay, now if I do import changes and uh, let me just uh, run the build. Okay, just have a closed look here. You will be able to see that after running this test case, it will also run the Jackaco test report. So as you can see, it has run Jackaco test report as well. So if I go here, let's say if I go here and uh, in here so it will also generate this index.html file every time we will be changing so to look into that let me just add one more test case let me just uh, revert it back let's say we'll do fifty thousand rupees now the else if part in transfer method should not cover 
okay and for that purpose what i'll do i will just run a clean build test okay we will not run the jacko test report okay now if you go here as you can see right now it is 100% so this is the index.html file which was opened previously now we have run the build clean build after changing the test case they have not run jacko test report now let me see if it decreases to 85% or not okay yeah so it has decreased to 86% which means when when we built our code using clean build it also ran that jacko test report so we also have uh, this jacko test verification right that which will verify how much amount of how much percentage of code was covered and on the basis of that verification it will give us a failure or a success right so for that purpose we need to add one more task so that is jacko test coverage verification task okay and in here what we have what we can mention is we can mention our violation rules and we can mention our rule uh, let's say we are mentioning that uh, the enable the rule should be enabled false okay for the first and uh, the limit would be let's say minimum minimum code coverage should be 45 percent okay for that purpose we have written 0 0.45 okay we have added our jacko test coverage verification and violation rules if it is lesser than 45 percent it will throw an error saying that the code coverage fails let me run this task which is uh, jacko test coverage verification okay yeah so the build is successful so basically the coverage is 41% right in here the coverage is 41% and we have mentioned that the minimum coverage should be 45% so right now it is false so it has not checked for this violation rules but if we make it true okay and we will import the changes and then we will run this uh, let's say jacko test verification it says build failed why because the instruction cover ratio was 0 0.32 but expected minimum is 0 0.45 so this is how you can actually implement a test coverage verification as well in your application which will verify after each test run after each jacko test report that whether the code coverage was meeting a certain specific standard or not so one more thing which we can do here is we can actually in integrate all these three into one test as well so as you can see this test is having finalized by jacko test report which means whenever we run gradle clean build task it will automatically run this jacko test report so what we want to do is let's say whenever jacko test report runs it should automatically run this verification as well so what we can do here is we can add that in here so i can write finalized by and then verification so now what i have to do is i just have to run a clean build and the jacko task will automatically run for that purpose let me just first uh, change this to uh, 1000 so that this will cover and i'll do just a clean build if you look closely here as you can see that we have run our task as clean build it has successfully run the clean build it has successfully run jacko test report and that we can verify if it increases so it has increased 100 percent which means jacko test report ran successfully but it failed at this task which is jacko test coverage verification which says that our code coverage was 0 0.34 but expected was 0 0.45 so that's it guys this is how we can actually integrate code coverage in our spring application and jacko is one such tool do let me know if you need a video a separate video on unit testing as well till then happy coding